is present and seated. All right, Mr. Uh, Kleinman, you're the one who wrote this, is that correct? Yes. Okay, and it says clarification, quote, if in your consideration of the issue of self-defense you have a reasonable doubt on the question of whether Michael Draco was justified in the use of deadly force, you should find him not guilty, end quote. Then you skip a couple lines and it says reasonable doubt that the use of deadly force was justified, you should find him not guilty. And what exactly would you like from the court? So we had trouble understanding that statement because it doesn't, I guess it just doesn't make sense to us. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do this, okay? I'm going to reread the justifiable use of deadly force instruction. Legally, that's really all I can do, okay? So I know you have it back there. I know you've heard it before. I know you're probably going over it, but that's all that I can really do, okay? It is a defense to the crime of manslaughter if the actions of Michael Draca constituted the justifiable use of deadly force. Deadly force means force likely to cause death or great bodily harm. Michael Draco was justified in using deadly force if he reasonably believed that such force was necessary to prevent imminent death or great bodily harm to himself, and he had no duty to retreat and had the right to stand his ground. In deciding whether Michael Draco was justified in the use of deadly force, you must consider the circumstances by which he was surrounded at the time the force was used. The danger need not have been actual. However, to justify the use of deadly force, the appearance of danger must have been so real that a reasonably cautious and prudent person under the same circumstances would have believed that the danger could be avoided only through the use of that force. Based upon appearances, Michael Draca must have actually believed that the danger was real. However, the defendant had no duty to retreat. In considering the issue of self-defense, you may take into account the relative physical abilities and capabilities of Michael Draca and Marquise McLaughlin. If in your consideration of the issue of self-defense, you have a reasonable doubt on the question of whether Michael Draca was justified in the use of deadly force, you should find him not guilty. However, if from the evidence you are convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that Michael Draca was not justified in the use of deadly force, you should find him guilty if all the elements of the charge have been proved. So if there's something more specific that you want an answer to, uh, you can go ahead and write it down again, but uh, I don't think I'm really going to be able to expound on what the instructions are legally. They, they are what they are, okay? But if you, if you have another question, we can uh, deal with it, okay? okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be in recess until the call of the jury. All right. Can we approach before you leave? Okay. okay.